What's up guys, Cyber Houdini here and welcome back to Mafia 3. In the last episode, we had a hell of a time. We broke into Remy Duvall's wake to track down Olivia DeMarco. And we went and poisoned everyone with LSD. Oh, it was the best freaking mission yet. It was so funny. Even the freaking manager was on the stuff. Some crazy, crazy stuff going on. So we snuck in and we uh, got rid of her, but we didn't actually finish her off. Georgie Marcano actually went and did that, got her in the hospital bed, but Olivia Marcano's down, that's all that matters, uh, that's one capo off the kill list, we've got two more, so while we were doing that, we also managed to uh, rescue and help escape uh, Stephen uh, the the Garmo, I think that was his name, yeah, the Garmo, it was an unusual one, he owns the deeds to uh, Marcano's uh, land, where he wants to build the casino, so it's very good to have him in our back pocket. Now we're moving on to Tickfo Harbor, which seems to be all about like import and export. Uh, nice big area. And I can see Frisco Fields. Look how big this area is. We gave it to Thomas Burke and the Irish. So we've got a lot of green up north here. So let's see what this mission is called. It's called Hot Rubber and Cold Blood. Uh, Donovan's discovered the ins and outs of the crooked shipping rackets in Tickfo. Okay, so yeah. Hot Rubber, that sounds like uh, stolen cars. So let's head on over there. We're not too far away. It's the way I like it. Uh, we'll probably approach this the same like we've always been doing now. Uh, now that I've changed things up. We're going to go in. Meet up with the associates. Do damage the racket off camera. And come back and take on the racket boss. Alright, we're just going to wait here. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, where's Donovan? Sleeping in the job. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot. It's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. Smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. Well, what's got up his ass? The Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then. Hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tickfaw Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano. And he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down at Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Oh, his yeah. businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Okay. Look places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. All right. Put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. God, Donovan's really on edge. What the hell? God, if he turns on us, man, that'll be nasty. I hope that doesn't have auto theft. Okay. This one of the rackets. What's the other racket? It's smuggling. So Tommy Marcano is the leader here. Uh, oh, Lieutenant Frank Pagani, a loyal lieutenant. Frank Pagani is always at capo Tommy Marcano's beck and call. Okay, so we know that Tommy Marcano is another capo and is willing to do whatever Tommy asks of him. Frank only his concern uh, is keeping his claws in tick for harbor okay so we got a picture of him eliminating frank will undoubtedly reveal intel that you can use against tommy marcano all right well we know how that works but i'm hoping it'll also like if this all is all about stealing cars can we get some new cars like i do love the samsung drifter that i'm uh driving now what is, what, that's some serious uh car back where, where the hell is it? what the hell okay but yeah it'd be nice to Get some really fast cars, sports cars, something like that, you know. Let's head up. Gina! She'll let us know all about the auto theft going on here. Hey, over here. It's a nice place you got here, Gina. So you the scary motherfucker who go and deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Sit You're putting down. out the cigarette. Awesome. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior. Before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Without some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, 
He even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here. But knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. These boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. All right. Thank you, Gina. Runners. Junior's runners uh, bring chopped up cars to drop points around Tickfall. Take them out and end his supply of new rides. Okay. Oh, some nice cars in here. We've driven something like this before, so it's nothing new. I want real sports cars. Um, yeah. Okay. So, Junior Holland is the auto theft racket boss around here. I'm going to go damage his racket, and I'll meet you back here, guys, when we talk to Gina, and she'll give us a location for Junior. We can take him down. See us when we get back. Guys, we're back here at Gina Kowalski's place. We've done enough damage to Junior Holland's uh, auto theft racket. Now let's head in and see can she give us his location. I'm gonna take on the auto theft racket boss. That little speed freak Junior stayed up by here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil. Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire in the ass. Yeah, he's about to be yeah, damn dead. On. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll catch you later, Gina. She sounds awesome. Okay. Jack Junior Holland. All right, that's where the Junior comes into it. Okay, so this seems to be kind of the best way of doing it. Like, we didn't miss too much. I went round and... Uh, blew up uh, a couple of cars. That was literally I'd, all I did. You know, it's the same thing: enforcers and informants and blowing up vehicles if you find them on the street. It's kind of rinse and repeat, unfortunately, with these kind of missions. But the racket bosses are fun. The last mi last episode, that mission was fan freaking fantastic. So the capo missions, we know they're going to be good. So we want to get our ass there as quick as possible. It's just unfortunate that uh, they couldn't like really mix things up a bit or something i mean it's still fun it's a hell of a lot of fun it's just the same thing you know and there's a lot of it okay i did like what 17 episodes oh crap okay <laughs> oh what did i just roll up into where am i <laughs> okay so i wasn't watching i was too busy uh talking oh well big deal let's get things started with a little grenade Hope that guy's not a civilian. I think he is. She's like, got that inside inside the place. Fantastic. Jesus, they're everywhere. The law must be notified. Oh Christ! You're gonna start police. This. The hell is going on? Is that reinforcements or what? Right, it's enough cars. Let's blow them all to hell. Where's your goddamn reinforcements? This should have. Oh, Christ, I, mean, I gotta get out of sight of the cops. No, this this is some harsh manure. Oh, is there a cop here already? Looks like there was a cop there. Uh, money on the table. If I can get out with the blue ring, I might be okay. Hold on now. This mightn't be a complete disaster just yet. Okay, we actually can break in over here, can we? Mm. I was not paying attention. I can't believe I just rolled up in this place. That's so funny. Alright guys, the cops have gone. We can now tackle this area properly. It's hard enough to do it without the cops. We just keep sending more. Alright. see a lot of bodies. Can we open this door and kill this guy? Yeah. Let's go for it. Thing about all the junior's best boosters are either dead or gone. We all got to pitch in. You want to end up like them? Let's move the body. <laughs> Hopefully, this guy comes out, he won't notice anything. Go tell junior no? Be my guest. Meantime, keep those damn eyes of yours open. All right, it's these two guys talking. Let's quickly sneak in and kill them. <laughs> That's what you get for talking. Anybody else? Anybody else? Where did this guy go? He's up here. 
Nice. Ooh, there's a lot of guys there. I do not want to get surrounded. Alright, let's rush this guy. Boom! Oh, you sneaky little... Let's get him. Weren't expecting that, were you? Brutal takedown. Alright, we're in combat. Yeah. More money. I don't know what's going on with that guy. Protecting his little medicine cabinet. It's my job. Wow, you guys are fond of that word. Who shot me? Is it you? Dead. No, we're not doing too bad. It's got to be said. Let's just not get blindsided yet. There is someone down here. Where the hell is he? He's up here. I, uh, I know you don't belong here. It's a freaking sentry. I hear that first punch. Boom. First punch usually misses, and it's really, really irritating. Uh, let's go over quickly. Oh, I can't carry anymore. All right. Let's get our health. Oh, crap. Is he coming up the stairs? Let's wait for him. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, and it was a shotgun guy, too. Right, where are you, Junior? Weapons locker. I need them to have a vest. This one does. It's beautiful. Come on, Lincoln. Get it quick now. Oh, look at all this money. Yes, please. All right, now we might... Oh, it doesn't, doesn't lead outside. Okay. I thought I might have a little vantage point, but I'm going to have to double back around. This should lead outside. Yeah, whoa, that's brave a bitch. I heard a voice. Come on, he's inside this, uh, whatever you want to call it, cabin. Doesn't even know I'm coming in. Shit. Shit. I'm in. Sit down, Junior. He's out of ammo. No, not out of ammo, I'm just reloading while I collect your money. Seven grand. Thanks, Junior. Say bye-bye now. In the frickin' wall again. <laughs> We're those big balls now, Junior. <laughs> They're in his throat. Junior Holland is down. All the Tef rackets secured. Awesome. I'm gonna give, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give tick fall to Cassandra because she's pretty pissed at me now for not giving her any districts. So what did she? She gives me that. Uh, what is it? Uh, M11B. Dolce. Dolce. I don't. Know. Cutting edge military model is built for accuracy. I would add ammo capacity and damage from other SMGs. That flickering on the couch is really freaking distracting. All right, let's get this done. I'm gonna head over to the smuggling racket, We're guys. Tick for Harbor. I'm gonna need some of your guys. I'm glad you heard my wake up call, brother. And I hope you follow through with the cults you set in us on here. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months. Did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. <laughs> that orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. Alright. Any cutscenes with Father James in it, I'm happy to watch. He's a cool character. I wish there was more story missions with him. But uh, the cutscenes are enough. Now, we're heading over to Smuggling Racket. Got to talk to Pablo Duarte. I think that's his name. That's his second racket. Yeah, all right. I, uh, who, who's he dealing with? Uh, Pablo's chosen to help you, and they begin and end with Fidel Castro. Okay, he's got personal reasons. All right, well, let's see what the racket boss is called in this place. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah, Pablo Duarte. You're with the company. Not too, not too far off. Exactly. There's going to be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You're with the Cuban Revolutionary Council. I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. 
is how Frank Tagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much... What's he smuggling? Sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since Luz and River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me yeah. out. So Pops Holland? We killed Junior Holland, so father and son? It must be. He's gonna be pissed we killed his son. It's like a, a mafia smuggling family business. Very cool. Okay, so what are we gonna have to do here? This seems to be different, this uh, lieutenant as well, Fra uh, Frank Pagani. I think that's his name, yeah. So we got like, kill Frank Pagani, uh, set up. Like this is this is going to be a different kind of mission, but uh, and and that's just for finishing the other uh, auto theft. So I wonder what we'll get for finishing the smuggling racket. So I'll do the same, guys. I'll run around and uh, bring the damage down uh, in this racket, and then we'll come back and find out where Pops Holland is. All right. All right, guys. I've done enough damage to Pops Holland's smuggling racket. Now let's go talk to Pablo and see if that didn't draw him out. Pablo, how are we doing? Where is he, man? You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh, yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, right. Pablo. And so is Lincoln. With a lot worse than Pops. Yeah. All right. So we've got rid of Junior Holland. Let's get rid of Pops too. Uh, confront Walter. <laughs> Walter. No wonder he chose. Uh, went out the wrong door. Okay. Cool. Cars ready to go. We got ammo, grenades, armor. We're all ready to go. Let's see. Ah, he's not that far away at all. Awesome. It's night time now, so we're gonna have a bit of a night shootout, but that's alright. I'm interested to see what happens. Don't bang into the cops. Oh, that was so close! To get really, really sensitive and come after you if you tip them. Idiots. Uh, yeah, we're coming up now. I don't think I've been here before. Yeah, I'm interested to see what happens now when we kill this guy because it looks like killing the lieutenant Frank uh, Pagani is gonna take a little bit of doing. I'm not just going to roll up here. Holland Bros. Shipping and freight. Yeah, I think we've got the right place. This place is huge. we got a sentry right there. All right. The gate. Is the gate fortified? Let's check it. Let's kind of squish this sentry. Oh, jeez. It is a bit. Oh, man. He survived that. Whoa. Just, just get rid of him. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. Is that sentry alerted too? Get down. Oh, man. Machine gun. Yeah, it is a goddamn shooting gallery. Where are you? Your time is up. What the hell was he doing here? I think he pissed himself when he was trying to hide in shame. <laughs> right, where was the other sentry? Sentry's down first. Number one road, where are you? I spotted him. Where are you going? I'm bleeding. Yeah, this actually takes a good few shots to die with this uh, assault rifle. Maybe it's a weak one, I don't know. I paid 30 grand for this goddamn thing. Where are you hiding, buddy? And, and you eat ammo as well, I noticed that. What the hell is he doing? Is he shotgun guy? They usually rush me. Right, no ammo for me. Where are you, Pops? I see another sentry. He's further in. This place is huge. Oh, here he is. Oh, you sneaky little... Come on, pop out. That's what I like to see. You see him talking about? Good few shots to take him down. I suppose that's what you get with the rapid fire. A lot less damage. Yeah, oh crap, they're up above. Alright. It's okay, let's deal with one level first. Picked a bad bloody cover, man. Oh, I guess they're coming down. What's all this up? Ooh. Another sentry. Gotcha. Nice! That was awesome. Oh, it's a nice. You gotta give it to me. You got a good shot there. Come on, Come on man. While we're young. Right, who's getting me? Who's getting me? Damn it. Took away most of my armor. I don't 
can't see who shot me. Anybody's guess. Maybe they were up above. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's that guy. No, maybe it was this guy. What the hell? What is he doing? He's outside having a jig. He can stay outside. Now that's the guy who's gonna come back and kick my ass. You just know it. Okay. Then where you wanna look? I get him here. Damn it. Alright, now he's dead. Crap. Oh, almost got the cover. Get him off my back, god damn it! Wait, where are you? Come on. Oh, sorry, guys. Just trying to concentrate. These guys are eating into me. That was the guy uh, I knew we'd get me earlier. Right. Is any of them attack vest? No, medicine cabinet, weapons locker. Switch over. Run now, ammo. Oh, that was the worst Molotov troll ever. You deserve to die for that. Let's go get him. I've thrown some bad Molotovs, so that takes the cake right there. Yeah. That takes the gig. That's what you get. Bye bye now. Okay, I think we're on the right path. Let's go, go, go. Said Pops is a mean asshole. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I run out of bullets. Hey, some cabinet. All right, these guys are unaware of what's going on, as usual. Their money's the same color as everybody else. Uh, let's change it. Yeah, uh, grenades. Nah, screw it. Let's go. Listen here. We're having a nice conversation. As much as anyone else. I hate to break it up. But I have to. <laughs> <laughs> They're still talking. <laughs> and down you get. Let's wait for the fire to cool off. Nicely done. Can't be happening. This. Oh, this ain't right. It is happening. And to add insult to injury, dude, I'm robbing the whole place. Goodbye, Pops. Damn, look at his face. Get the fuck off oh my god, his eyes have been burnt. What the hell? Pops is dead. Alright, smuggling racket secured. That wasn't too bad. Nice big area to cover, though. Oh yeah, so we said we are giving this place to Cassandra, didn't we? What else should you give us? A uh, gunsmith. Increased ammo. Yes. Increase your ammo carrying capacity. Thank you, Jean Baptiste. Alright, so we said we'd give this racket to Cassandra, didn't we? What she's going to give us for uh, this place? There we go. Gunsmith. Increased ammo. Nice. Jean Baptiste will increase your ammo ca carrying capacity. Alright. Nice. Let's go for it. She better be grateful. Can you spare some of your crew to hold tick for? The best things in life come in pairs, ain't that right, brother? <laughs> of course, it can also be taken away from you in a blink of an eye. That would make me very unhappy. Ori, we didn't get a cutscene that time. Wow, that was the first time I didn't get a cutscene. But we got more uh, ammo, that's all that matters, really. That, that's strange. I'm starting to think was that a glitch, maybe. Really no but well, we've had a good few cutscenes anyway. So uh, that's both smuggling rackets done now in Tickfall Harbor, which is awesome. Let's see, has it opened up anything else? No, it hasn't. Okay, we just have this to kill Frank Pagani setup. Maybe there's two parts to it. Donovan has intel on Frank Pagani. Uh, the asshole runs. Yeah, okay. Uh, important operation. Eliminating, eliminating him will sever Sal's last ties to Cuba. Cuba. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I, it feels like it's going to be a two-parter, though, but we'll see. I'm going to leave that for the next episode, guys. We, we took out uh, the Junior and Pops Holland. And now we own Tickfall Harbour. Now we just got to kill Frank Pagani. That'll open up Tommy Marcano, another capo. We're making a lot of progress. Thanks, Mary, for watching, guys. And I will catch you all in the next one.